Hi guys, welcome to Techno News. This is episode 36 for the 27th of March, I believe. I really appreciate all the support. It does mean a lot. Uh, we've grown quite a bit this last week again, more so in the live streams this week, actually, to be fair, which I'm really grateful for. Thank you very much. I'm not sure if all the sort of Valorant news had anything to do with that, but we'll we'll cover that in a second. If you wouldn't mind letting the video play through, it would be very much appreciated. I'm still trying to hit those viewing hour targets, so if you wouldn't mind letting it play through and check out some of my other videos, be very grateful. Uh, hit the sub button if you haven't already done so. Hit the thumbs up on this video as well. And leave a comment, any feedback is appreciated, or even just an emote or anything like that, just to try and generate some sort of engagement, would be very much appreciated. Hit me up on my socials, TikTok and Twitter as well, uh, X, sorry, uh, if you want to get further updates. And if you want to discuss this or any of my other videos, please catch us live from around 10 o'clock p.m. UK here on YouTube Gaming. Right, let's get straight into the news, shall we? Right, so in the news this week, being the VCT, uh, the Valorant Championships, Sentinels won in the end. It was a hard-fought game against Gen.J, but they did turn it around towards the end and absolutely annihilated them. Uh, it was a cracking game to watch. I don't know if you saw any of the VCT, but it was definitely well worth a watch if you haven't already done so. Go and check that out. During the Championships on Sunday, they had a show match with the creators from Spain versus creators from the rest of the world in a showcase game to show off the new agent Clove. They did show off some of Clove's abilities. Um, it was hard to see a lot of what was going on, to be honest, because they were chopping and changing between all the different players. Um, but they did show some abilities. I haven't done a full video regarding that, but the highlights... Uh, they have a smoke that works a bit like Brims, they have an area effect decay like Viper, and they have a sort of boost like Rainer's Overshield, and their ult is a resurrection where you can sort of come back, you come back as a ghost, drift around a little bit, find a safe spot and come back into the game, and you've got a limited time to get a kill before you sort of die off again. Yeah, so if you want to check out the full rundown of of their abilities please check my other video out be very much appreciated they also announced the sovereign 2.0 bundle which includes a frenzy a judge phantom warden sword card a pretty cool helmet buddy and a spray of a shield which looks quite nice i'm not sure of the pricing on that yet i don't think it's full premium but i think you're probably looking at around the 80 mark for that I haven't really announced anything yet but i don't think the existing ones are like ridiculously overpriced. Riot also announced that the MMO game they were working on based around League of Legends is having a reset. Apparently it looks too samey to a lot of the other games that are out there so they've sort of put it on the on hold for now till they try and look into that and see what they can do about it and try and make it a, a little bit more different and exclusive. News around Battlefront still going on um, after the epic feel of a launch. A modder who used to create content for it back in the day has discovered that some of their models are actually being used in the game, despite the devs claiming it wasn't. It was an oversight because he spotted a couple of the characters that he created in the trailer, but apparently they are still in the full game, despite the devs saying it was an oversight and they weren't actually in there. Basically, he just created some Xbox exclusive characters for the PC by reskinning some of the existing ones. So it was like you still played as the old characters' abilities and things, but they looked like the, the characters the were meant to look like. And because of that, he picked up on certain details on the skins he used and some of the sort of movement and things, and he, he recognised it and basically kicked up a fuss about it. Whatever will happen with that, I don't know, but I think the game's fell on its arse and it's going to die that soon anyhow. Um, speaking of games sort of doing the opposite, uh, Dark and Dark Earth could finally be getting an official release. Apparently it's announced it's heading to Epic Games Store. Um, still no news if it'll ever come back to Steam, not entirely sure what will come of that obviously because of all the issues they had with the lawsuit and everything like that sort of steam trying to wash their hands of it but whether it'll come back now or not i don't know another game that is struggling is x defiant apparently it's being pushed back again it was supposed to be out by now i think but it's being pushed back again the lead dev spoke out saying 
apparently there was a comment made by one of the devs that they were chasing COD, and one of the lead devs has spoke out since saying that they weren't chasing COD, and the delay isn't due to new features. Uh, Mark Rubin, in a quote, he said, nothing about the delay is due to new features. In fact, not much has changed from a gameplay standpoint. The delay has been due to technical issues, which we've talked about. Whoever said chasing COD was a major eye roll. Uh, he then went on to say that, with regards to that, they're not chasing COD as it is now. They want to chase COD as it was back in the early days. Uh, they want to play more like the older CODs than what it's become. I did sort of have an interest for this way back, but it's sort of weird since. Uh, maybe when it comes out, I might give it another look. It is free to play, so it might be worth a look. Uh, next, June Awakening. It's a survival game. Based in the June universe. I do like June. And it'll be interesting to see how this plays. Obviously the sandworms and all that could be a big part of it. And the the ships and things like that. But um, not. I think it's still very early doors. And there's not many details out there yet. Like, but it's basically you have to survive on Arrakis. Um, which is the world where the mine spice. But whether you're a... Uh, a miner or a, a member of the Fremen or one of the houses. Not really sure, to be honest, but I'll be keeping an eye on that to see how that comes through. It looks good. A game that doesn't look so good. I did get excited when I heard about this, to be fair, but after seeing the trailer, I sort of changed my mind. There was a Star Wars Hunters game announced. Um, it sounded really good. It was um, put out as a 4 on 4 shooter in the Star Wars universe. But after watching the trailer, it just looks like a kiddie version of Overwatch. Nothing that's really grabbing me attention, to be honest. Uh, I really don't think I'll be playing that anytime soon. I think it's more of a mobile game. I don't think it's coming to any of the major platforms. I think it's going on the Switch and mobiles from what I gather so I'll be giving that a wide berth lastly I didn't even know this was a thing apparently there was a Will Smith zombie survival game Tencent released a game called Undawn in last June but apparently it flopped spectacularly apparently it had a budget of around 140 million dollars or around that um, but it's only actually recouped around 287,000 since June. Um, I didn't even know it was a thing. But apparently he, there's a big trailer about it, um, including Will Smith as one of the main characters. All a bit strange. But um, have you heard of it? It's all new to me. Let us know if you have and if you've played it or what you think of it. be interested to hear. But apparently it has fell on its arse and it probably won't last much longer. For some someone that, like including such a a big star, you think you'd have heard more about it. But yeah, that's it for the news this week. Let us know if I've missed anything, if there's anything you want to discuss in the comments, uh, or come by my live streams and have a chat. If you want to talk about any of the videos mentioned here or any of the other stuff, I'd be more than grateful to hear from you. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.